Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to bring you guys some more Nova Drift. Uh, obviously, last time we played, we checked out the huge new update that added a bunch of bosses and items and reworks. Uh, there was also something new added called Draft Mode uh, that we haven't checked out yet, and a lot of you guys wanted to see it. So, uh, Draft Mode is we begin our journey with 30... Excuse me, drinking carbonated stuff. Uh, begin your journey with 35 upgrade points with the starting wave increased by 120. So we're gonna start it and we just get 35 upgrades. So we get to choose how we wanna go, um, you know, before we even start it. So you know what, let's do, let's do a uh, uh, rocket uh, build here. I think this is pretty good here. I think that's pretty good. Um, how's the stream going? Hey, OT Dan, pretty good. Just starting our Nova Drift stuff here. Um, okay, so we want to do... A, okay, you know what? Let's do amp. Buff up the damage of our stuff. We're going to go ahead and do... Um, assault. Kind of just uh, being super aggressive as well. We'll go ahead and take uh, targeting. What is this? Super mod Atarxia. 5% global damage and 1% total maximum whole max shields and threats per unspent... Oh, yeah, per unspent upgrade points. If you have 20 or more unspent upgrade points, you continually have hyper boost. We've never really tried that, but I don't know if this is the time to do that here. Um, okay, we'll do... Uh, we'll do... Um, we'll do... Blast Radius, because we're doing rockets. We'll do Magnitude. We'll do... Payload. We'll do... Efficiency when you're not firing more regen and stuff. We'll do splinter. We'll do uh, Also, I already feel the audio being a bit too loud. So I'm gonna lower this here a bit. I don't know why dude I even lowered the, the music because I know there were some of you guys that were saying that it was too loud. Okay, um Guidance and prove targeting. We'll do rapid fire. We'll do uh, Volley I feel like we should probably get some maximum hull and regeneration. We should, probably should take some defensive items here, right? Um, adaptive armor. We'll get plating. We'll get um, more homing strikes. More blast radius. Convergence, even more. Super mod mastery. Uh, okay, let's do mines. We'll go ahead and um, give us better shields. Make our shields do damage. Um, give us a little bit more thrust. Um, more of that. Skirmish. Double our projectiles. Our shields now regenerate. Terminate. Wow, this is kind of crazy. Concentrated blast. Blitz. Velocity. Anti-matter rounds. I don't think we want those. Um, we'll do force armor. We'll do, oh yeah, that, loaded mines. Okay, so we're just automatically already on wave 120. We are already on wave 120 here. Also, seems like the audio is still way too loud. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this. Let me know if this, uh, that feels a little bit better here. Okay. Okay, so off the bat, oh my gosh, jumping into freaking wave 120 is uh, kind of crazy. Pretty fun actually to be able to like just jump into a build without having to worry. Um, obviously, it's probably not like optimal if you're trying to do very specific builds or whatever. Or uh, high score chasing. Because obviously... We probably should be at like 100, 200k or something like that before this point, but... Let's go. Let's go. Either way, I freaking love these rocket builds, the homing rocket builds. So if you don't know what's happening, at the very bottom of my screen, I'm, I'm charging up rockets. And we fire them when I let them go. They seem very loud, but I think I got the audio good. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Man, starting off at this far in the game. I mean, we get the upgrades for it. It's not like... Uh, it's probably, like, theoretically a little less unoptimal, you know? Also, thanks, Slasher, for following. Appreciate you. Mm. 
Okay. Barrier. So if we take a big shield damage hit, it's going to cap the shield damage at 25. Are you using wild mods? We are. Uh, we are. Uh, we're trying out the draft mode for the first time. So this is actually our first time doing the draft mode. I love these homing rocket builds, though, because you just let all them charge, and then you unleash them. And they're amazing. Favorite wild mod? Uh, I don't know. I don't actually know. I really like the Orb of Discords one, or, like, the ones where you get more orbs, the more, um, you know, wild mods you have. Um... I'm trying to think. It's like hard off the top of my head. If I see some wild mods, I'll definitely let you know. Let's go. Eat up all the experience here. Discord's my favorite mod in the whole game. Yeah, it's really fun. Ooh! That boss, like, get hit by the, the meteor stuff. Let's go. Get out of here. Being able to just... Oh, yo, 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 yo. I just hit a lot of those mines. Okay, get an upgrade. Um, oh, when an enemy's killed chance, you'll spawn, spawn uh, swarm constructs. This is actually one of my favorite ones as well, now that I think about it. The ones where we can just spawn a bunch of swarm constructs. This one's pretty dope. Just free damage. Also, I love this game, so I might nerd out about it. That's totally chill. I'm glad you found our community. If uh, after this stream you want to see more Nova Drift content, if you haven't seen our uh, Nova Drift uh, Let's Play series or uh, playlist, we have like a whole playlist of like over 40 Nova Drift videos. So definitely recommend checking that out. You can do exclamation mark YouTube to get our YouTube. Oh, jeez. And then after this, we're going to play um, some Novi Cube, uh, Soulstone Survivors demo, and then we're going to be playing that uh, horror game Iron Lung. Oh, never seen the live streams. Gotcha. Well, glad you found us here. Yeah, I love these homing rockets. I definitely see the, uh, the appeal of uh, draft mode. Oh, no, 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 no. No, oh gosh, oh gosh. I said no, 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 but then I immediately walked into the mines. Dude, yeah, just like charging in a hundred of these are so good. Leviathan with... Oh, displacement. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's what I get for reading chat. No. I shouldn't. <laughs> oh, that was so dumb of me. Okay. Let's do another draft build. Hey, at least we're playing draft mode where we can just jump into it. Okay. So the rockets, whatever. Um... Let's do a railgun build. With amp. And amp, and let's do it with uh, architect. You can only have one construct at a time. Okay, so we're gonna have targeting. We're gonna have. Oh, we got ricochet. I don't think we've seen ricochet before, because uh, this is one of the new ones. When your weapon projectile would be destroyed on impact, it rebounds an additional time. Let's get that. That may be one of my favorite. We'll do hull. We'll go ahead and do skirmish. Do faster shield cooldown. Um, shield durability. We'll go ahead and do magnitude payload. We'll do ally. So the one thing we're gonna have is our ally. So we're gonna buff up our ally to do. Let's do a uh, aggressive, honestly. Um, let's do elegant construction, evolutionary. 
self-destruct. I don't know if we should really be doing this, but whatever. We're going to have one really good ally. Um, we'll reroll. Velocity. Ooh, charge shot is really good. Um, burn damage. Splinter. Burnout reactors. 30% assembly speed for non-shield constructs. 30% uh, construct rate of fire. Self-destruction damage becomes burn. But constructs take 8 whole damage a second. Sure, that's fine. Don't even worry about it. Uh, homing strike. Your ally regenerates some of its hull. Um, yeah, I'm, I want the aggressive one. Yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and do barrier. Uh, we'll do terminate. I don't want guardian. I want the other one. Um, we'll do convergence. Overseer. I definitely don't want overseer. Um, absorption. Super mod mastery. Um... It is really cool doing this draft mode. Corrosion. Ooh, we got ally specialist. Yo. Yo. Um. Blitz. Dude, where where is the... Uh... Okay, more burn damage. There we go. We got interceptor. Our allies transformed into an interceptor. It fires our weapon, which is an awesome thing. Oh, we'll give... Uh, do outmaneuver... Super mod Rancor while charging your weapons damage dealt to increases it. Yeah, okay. So here we go. Let's see what our build is. Oh my. Oh my. What? <laughs> We're firing a bunch of extra of these bullets. And our allies doing that as well. Okay, this is going to be an interesting build. So I do like draft mode in that you can just really try out a bunch of different builds really, really fast. I am unbelievably slow, though. I definitely think I need more targeting as well. Oh my god, I am already almost dead. I am already almost dead. I don't, I don't know how I, uh, I don't know how I feel about this build, actually. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this build. What? Why are my bullets the way they are? Oh my, I don't know. I don't, something, something wasn't right with this build here. Something's not right. Something's not right. <laughs> Do I, I think I need more homing or? Yeah, this is definitely a very glass cannon build. Okay. Um. Reroll. Okay. We got better targeting. Whoa. Hello. Okay. That targeting is going to help a lot. So our bullets aren't wasted as much. They're still pretty wasted though. Also, I don't even feel like I'm doing that much damage. Because I know all of this stuff is... Uh... Oh my gosh, this targeting makes it uh, us do less damage or lowers our stats in some way. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, screw it. We're doing a new one. Um, you know what? Let's go back to our rockets here. Let's go back to our rockets. But this time we're going to do uh, shockwave and we're going to do... I kind of want to still try the engineer thing. Where's, where's, uh, architect? Yeah, we're going to do that. But this time we're going to go mines. We're going to go mines. Um, spontaneous generation. Um, we're going to do blast radius, high explosives, loaded mines, uh, targeting, guidance, skirmish. Mind specialist, uh, efficiency, maximum strength, terminate, bl that blast, we'll do minefield, screw it, um, retribution, magnitude, splinter, velocity, super mod mastery, blitz, convergence, 
Um, another spontaneous generation. Rupture. Volley. Homing strike. Um, snipe. Regeneration. Payload. Incinerary strike. Um, Candescence, uh, Regenerating Shields, and Maximum Shields here. Okay. So, this is, this is what we're going to do here. So, we have mines. Look at this. We just have mines constantly going off, by the way, that are going to create these rockets. And then we're going to slowly be able to charge them on our own as well. So, this is the build. This is the build that I have drafted here. We'll see how effective it is. We obviously don't do as much damage. We do have that spontaneous generation. So when we kill enemies, we're getting a lot of those drones helping us out. Ooh, ooh. Problem is, is like, maybe I'm focusing too much on offense. I think I'm focusing too much on offense in these draft builds. Cause like, look at this. I keep like almost dying, like constantly. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Okay, we got our, we got our first boss here. So I like that I just constantly am gonna have these helming mines. Just constantly dealing damage to everyone. The fact that we got ally specialist helps a lot. Ooh, let's go. See, and then we just have a million of these drones that are ready to go to war for me here. Um, ooh, rapid fire. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's going to allow us to get our rockets way faster. Can't really tell what you need to work on. <laughs> Yeah, it is. The, the draft mode, you do just kind of put all your eggs in one basket, and it probably either works or it doesn't. You know, you'll get a couple levels, you know, to try to, like, fix things, but it's going to take you forever to level up, you know, to fully, like, acknowledge or realize what needs to be changed. Woo! But it's fun to just be able to jump into this late game thing, try a bunch of different late game builds. I don't know, maybe we could somehow hit a million. Though hitting a million on this seems a lot harder than hitting a million normally. Oh gosh. Oh! I ran into every single one of those. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? You know what? Well, well, you know what? That's that's the whole point. Let's try doing uh Let's try doing a um a, a crash build. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's cool. Um, I need. I want. Where's hull breaker? There we go. Hull breaker. Okay, so we're gonna do just a crap ton of tanky stuff here. Wait a minute. Hull breaker. Um, hull crap. Okay, yeah. We're gonna take more hull. We're gonna do barrier. We're gonna get some passive regeneration gonna get plating just want a lot of tankiness more thrust defiance adaptive armor um, shield effect powers increased by your current speed sure um, global damage increases as speed does we'll get a uh, passive shield regeneration I should have taken something else there whatever uh, juggernaut. Um, channeling. Core shielding. It is fun to just get all of these at once. Uh, force armor. 
Ooh, the next recursive wild mod you get is gotten three times. Okay, the next recursive wild mod. Ooh, dude, galvanic outburst though. When you take a shield to discharge a bunch of that. Yeah, let's do that. Galvanic outburst. Yo, it's pretty cool. Uh, rebuke. Another defiance, probably. Oh, this removes all weapons. Yo, 40% global damage. Yeah, that's like super mod hidden power. Let's do that. So we can't fire a weapon. In the fire branch, I believe there's a FRSB thing. What, do you, what does that mean? Okay, skirmish. Um, targets take more global damage. I'm damaged. Terminate. Reflexive shields. Um, mm, see, deadly wake. Yeah, we could do deadly wake. I just don't want the thing that hurts me. Oh, blink. Yeah, let's do blink. Blitz. Um, oh. Yeah, Grandier is pretty good here. Oh, Crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. Yeah. Yeah, we could maybe do that here. Though, no. Faster shield cooldown. More faster shield cooldown, but less shields. Probably worth it. Um, You take shield self-damage when you fire. That's fine. I'm not firing at all. Um, Omni shields. Don't want that. Don't want this. Tempest break. When your shield breaks, it discharges powerful bolts of energy. When your shield's down, it can its cooldown cannot be interrupted. Shield only begins cooldown when it breaks. Um, that's fine. We'll go ahead and take that. Tempest break. I don't know. This is like we're trying things I'd never really try, you know? Uh, shield effect radius and power. Um, uh, volatile shields. I mean, we're doing like so many different things here. Um, okay. Oh, efficiency, because we can't ever fire anyways. Ricochet doesn't matter. Conversion. Plus five base hull and base shields. If your maximum hull is greater than maximum shields, convert 30%. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have a very small sh shield here. Let's see how this works here. Oh my gosh. Though we probably want as big of a shield as we possibly can, because of Galvic Nick Outburst, but holy cow. Holy cow. So I, I literally cannot fire. So the question is, how do we deal against like things like this? Let's try it here. Yeet! Yeet! I'm surprised we didn't just die there, to be completely honest. I am surprised we're not dying here. Holy cow. Holy cow, dude. This is a build. This is a build. With all the galvanic outburst, I do wish we had more shield though. But hey, our shield recharges and it can't be canceled when it's charging, so that's kind of cool. This is a pretty cool crash build here. I do have bling. Oh yeah, our shield, shield doesn't start cooling down unless it, uh, yeah, it breaks. Uh, regression, one level, banish all tier one mods currently offered to you. No. No. Omni shields. Mm. I'm tempted to take Omni shield. Um max shields because yeah i don't know i want i want more max shields because we have a lot of cool shield shenanigans going on okay black hole that wasn't too bad take care of crashing as you could try recruiting some minions maybe the only problem with constructs is that constructs take so much of a commitment they take such a commitment to um, to upgrade. Okay, this shield build is actually... Oh, look at you. Look at you. You think you're something? You think you're something? Dude, this crash build. This crash build is um, so fun. While your shield protects you, damage is divided even. Nah, 
I'm always scared to take that. I don't understand it. Um, ultra rare. Ooh, someone's a challenger, champion, or boss that um, has increased drops. Yeah, let's do it. So extra hard fight. Or, yeah, no, screw it. That's an ultra rare challenger thing. Okay, here's our ultra rare challenger here. We can murder him. We can murder him. We can murder this guy. We can murder this guy, maybe. Maybe. Glad we have a lot of regeneration here on ourselves. Boom! Dude, this is such a good build. See, this is really cool, yeah. So now I know kind of what works and what doesn't late game without having to, like, spend all the time to go late game, you know? Both crashing into each other. I think I'm the oh gosh. I'm the crash king, baby! Baby! Let's go, let's go. See the reason I, I didn't want the thing that um made it where we do fire damage is so I because otherwise I wouldn't just be able to keep doing this. And I rather want to I, I normally you can't because like you need the experience, but if you're fighting like a boss or something, you know. Get out of here. He crashed into me and still died. Um, your body gear, <sighs> celestial lands, burn, running out of rerolls here. Adds a weaponized shield to any effect. Targets within the weaponized effect radius take extra damage. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Oh my, dude. Yeah, all the galvanic outburst plus all the other stuff we've gotten has made this insane. Because we just keep losing our shield and then it does an insane amount of damage and then we get our shield back like instantly. Oh, that is a... That is one spooky thing. Who cares? <laughs> okay. Okay. Give me my experience. Give me my experience. I can't. I can't. I wish you could just keep, like, flying all over the place, but you do have to get your experience. It's kind of, like, important to, uh, to how you play this game. that big giant like supernova that happens every time my shield breaks plus the four instances of galvanic outburst I have galvanic outburst is one of my favorite orbs as well or favorite um things since we were talking about our favorite uh you know wild mods um bigger shield effect radius the cooldown's a little bit slower shield effect radius I don't know We'll take it though. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Yeah, our effect radius is a lot bigger. And yeet. <laughs> yeet. And yeet. And yeet. Oh, dude, crash builds are the most satisfying thing in this game. You just feel so freaking strong. Get rid of all these mines. Who do you think I am? Honestly, we may be able to get a high score with this. Maybe. I don't know. Because I imagine it should actually be harder to get high score builds. But if you get multiple, you know, in the time it takes you to do one build to see if it's good or not, you can do... Oh my gosh, that thing almost killed me. Just straight up almost killed me. Um, You know what? Okay, we're taking Omni Shields here. I ruined the build. I entirely ruined the build here with Omni Shields. What? I thought I would have more of a hull because of the one thing. I just ruined the entire build, actually. Wow. I, wait, I, I thought the conversion thing would have made it. So, okay. So I guess that's why we're doing the draft mode. But I could have, I thought that the thing that we had taken previously was gonna balance it out. I knew I shouldn't have taken it, but where where is it? Whatever the thing is where it's like, Oh, well, you know, 50% of your... Where is it? It was like... I don't know where it is. Flash shield. Yeah, conversion. If your maximum hull 
is greater than your maximum shields, convert 30% of your maximum shields to your maximum hull. Why did that not happen? Conversions occur after all other hull and shield calculations, right? Because I was thinking, I was thinking conversion would save us. So we would lose a bunch of our hull, but then we would at least get a little bit of the hull back, right? That probably wasn't the play anyways. Um, but I, I, I could have, I thought that it would have worked. Oh, it's a one time. It's not retroactive. Oh. Well, let's try doing that build one more time, but better. Um, hull breaker. Okay. Shields. Shield cooldown. Um, hull strength. Juggernaut, Force Armor, Absorption, uh, Barrier, Skirmish, Efficiency, Blitz, um, Reflexive Shields, Kinetic Boost, Galvanic Outburst, only one this time. Um... Not taking... Okay. Defiance. Um, your shield effect power is increased by your current speed. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, we will do... Scorching Wake. Um, adaptive Armor. Volatile Shields. Yeah, Flash Shielding. Terminate, regeneration, regenerative shields. Even though I think that may not work. Whatever. Shield, um, shield effect radius, another defiance. Um, shield effect power, weaponized shields, better thrust. Um, another scorching weight could be cool. Um, energized shields, radiant shields or discharge. No, dis. Wait, when you fire, your shield discharges a portion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, when you fire, your shield discharges a portion of its energy. Oh, that doesn't really do much for us, does it? Um. Deadly wake? No, we'll do radiant shields. We'll do the no oh next recursive wild mod. A dream okay. So kind of a similar build. We can actually still fire. I don't know like how often we're gonna actually utilize that. But otherwise this is a kind of similar build. I suppose. We have a lot more of that um the the trails behind us. That are doing damage. Our weapon really does like nothing. Also, we are already close to dying. So somehow this is not as good as our previous uh, build. But, you know. We gotta try here. Oh my gosh, we're already almost dead. How are we already almost dead? What is happening different? What did we do different this time? Our whole, yeah, I don't know. This is not going as well as uh, the other one, though. But whatever. Oh, he had a shield last minute. Oh, we don't have the thing that... Okay. I get it. When Whenever we take damage, our shield is... Um... Oh, jeez. Whenever we're taking damage, it's resetting our shield. We had something previously that prevented that. I don't quite know what. But we don't have it. And we do need it. Oh, dude. I don't... I don't think I can... Okay, let's try it. Let's okay, okay. Let's try it again once we have our shield back up. Okay, here we go. 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 Oh, I thought I was somewhere else. Okay. Okay. 
bunch of big boy damage. We almost died once again. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. There we go. Got it. Oh, we got the new boss. We haven't fought this boss in a while. How's the crash build going to do on it? I don't know. Um, mm, okay, channeling. See, every time we take damage, it's resetting our shield, which I don't like. It was really good, whatever we had last time. Okay, here we go. Oh! Get out of here, boss! Though I think that was like a way easier boss. We're about to die. We're about to die. We literally have like no HP. No! Oh! oh no! Okay, let's try. Let's try draft one or two more times. I'm I'm determined to get the build that we just had. Right? Like, I don't. Let's try it one more time here. Um, because it seemed really cool. Okay, let's try this again here. We got regeneration. We got um, shield cooldown. We got better shields. Uh, skirmish. Uh, galvanic outbursts. Um, volatile shield. Oh, wait. No, another galvanic outburst. Um, shield effect radius. Um, let's go and do terminate. Um, volatile shields, discharge, no, 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 when you, mm. Mm. okay, we'll do focus shields, the next recursive wild mods picked multiple times, uh, we'll take, we'll just take discharge, yeah, we'll take it, uh, more thrust, some regeneration, Flash shielding. Could get a bunch of defiance. But I don't think that's worth it. Uh, if your shield breaks, trigger death blossom. Okay, we'll try that. Um, adaptive armor. Radiant shields. Weaponized shields. Ooh, could get... Oh, my, okay. We have five galvanic outbursts. Six galvanic outbursts. Um, Adrenal module, reflexive shields, um, reroll, let's do blitz, let's do barrier, let's do efficiency, a bigger maximum hull, let's get channeling. Hidden power, so we can't um, uh, we can't fire our weapon. The plating. Ooh. Uh, force armor. Juggernaut. Oh shit! No, let's do challenger. And kinetic boost. Okay, we have a lot of galvanic outburst here. Yeet. Okay. We have oh, we are very fast here. Who do you think you are? I'm the Crash King. Get out of here. Okay. Um. Mm, armor stacks attack. Eh. Probably should have taken that. Whatever. Uh, I'm. St what did what did I take previously that made it where my shield didn't charge? But like you know. Okay, we'll take a single defiance. It where it doesn't um, regenerate on its own, but if we oh my gosh, but if we or but like it can't be interrupted. That's what I want. Oh my oh my gosh, yeah, I'm liking this build. We obviously cannot fire our weapon. Okay, we already almost died. We almost died. See, that's the thing. Because, oh my gosh, yeah, the, oh my gosh, the shields not regenerate, or the shields, yeah, whatever we had last time really made the build work. Okay, because we now have to actually be careful about where our shields are. 
Boom! That was half of its damage here, but now I gotta let my shields regenerate here. And... Let's go! That's, that will never not be satisfying. I am going so fast. Just look at all that Galvanic Galpers. That is so... Yeah, Galvanic Galper is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, um... Another Galvanic Outburst? Let's get another Galvanic Outburst. We have seven Galvanic Outbursts. Anytime anything touches my shield, I mean, we are... <laughs> we are saying no. That's pretty cool. See, it's like, I just now I have to wait for my shield. I gotta wait for my shield, which is like... And it freaking be really hard to get back up. Okay, here we go. Oh, I thought I killed everyone. That's close. We got our shield back up. Boom. I just I need to figure out what gave us the that really awesome shield thing, you know? Nice. Like, I know there's crash builds where you only have a hull, or there's crash builds where you only have a shield. In my opinion, the f my favorite one, since I'm not very good at this game, and I've played a lot. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Give me that experience. Is one where you have shield and health, you know? It's like kind of a backup. So my shield is still going down constantly, which I'm fine with. I just... I don't like having to be careful to get my armor back, you know? Um, another defiance, but... Um, okay, core shielding is probably what we want here for sure. Yeah. See, it's like I need my shield. I need my shield, but like, ah! There's too many things hurting me. There we go. Okay. No, probably need to wait for my shields. There we go. So it's I can it's doable. This is definitely doable. It's just not as good as what we had previously. Oh, that's a lot of damage. See, and that just oh my gosh. If I take damage, I'm like screwed. Okay, we have our shield. We have our shield. We got to go use it. Offensively. <laughs> just got to make sure I'm not losing all this experience as well. Oh! Okay. Yeah, we're just going to... We're going to just... We're going to just... We're going to just... We're going to just, just take care of all this here. Whoa! Like, how am I supposed to regenerate my shield here? There's no way. There's no way I regenerate my shield here. Oh my gosh, see? Oh no, I don't. Ah! <laughs> oh man, well, you know, I think this is probably a good stopping point, you know? I gotta say though, that was, so, even though it felt like we didn't do that good, it's because we just kept getting propelled into the end game, and we probably didn't do that good. Um, but it kind of just highlights the, uh, you know, the whole point of draft mode which is really just to experiment with a bunch of different things we got to experiment with a bunch of different builds that i don't think we would have otherwise you know so I think it's pretty cool. I think my preferred way is still to play just the normal roguelike, you know, way with wild metamorphosis and then mayhem mode because I ain't I ain't at annihilation mode um, yet. Um, but yeah, no, draft mode's pretty interesting. So I, I definitely just wanted to showcase it in a whole video on its own because um, a lot of you guys were asking and a lot of you guys just wanted to see more Nova Drift as well. So really, really hope you guys enjoyed. If you're watching after the fact on YouTube, you know, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when more Nova Drift videos come out. If you haven't seen the whole playlist of old Nova Drift videos, there's some really good ones in there. Also, if you want to get some TTG Halloween limited, uh, you know, merch, uh, you only got about two or three or more weeks here uh, as of recording this video. So definitely click the link in the description down below if that's something you're interested in and help us support the channel. Uh, but either way, guys, if you guys are going to be grinding out some Nova Drift on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.